Hey everybody, Gwen here, and it's time for this week's Leadership Truth, which is commitment matters. Commitment matters. A colleague of mine posted an article a few weeks ago that she came across in Psychology Today that was on the topic of last minute itis, and it was how we are creating a society where, you know what, we just blow off commitments. You know, if we don't feel like going, we just don't show up, or we'll email at the last minute and say, sorry, I can't make it, or we extend ourselves so much that we're running late and we're, you know, it's like, oh, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Time, being on time, it's almost something that it's like, you know, it's a nice to have. And I think this is something that is pretty insidious. And I want you to stop and I want you to think about in your leadership, how often have you rescheduled things or blown off people on your team because you either overextended yourself, you got called into things that were, you know, priority at the last minute, and the people that were on the other end of that, the receiving end of that, were the people that were on your team who had a one-on-one -on -one with you, or maybe it was a team meeting that you didn't attend to. Here's the thing, all of those broken commitments is sending a message. And I think in parenting, and for those of you who are parents, I know certainly I struggle with this a lot, and I'm hyper observant of it when I look at parents um, with their kids. You know, when we get very stuck to things like our phone and our children are at our ankles trying to get our attention, the message that we are sending to our children is you don't matter. And I think it's the same at work. When we start breaking um, commitments and we start prioritizing other things over the time that you need to invest in building relationships with people, we're saying our people don't matter. Okay, and so I think that we need to really stop back and think, where are our priorities? And I hear more and more companies talk about we need people to be more engaged, we need people to be more you know, productive, and we need to increase engagement. Engagement's down across the globe. Why should I be engaged with you if you can constantly break commitments with me, right? Where's the two-way reciprocity street here, right? So you can't have it both ways. So I think the thing for all of us to think about, I'm certainly thinking about it in my leadership. I really recognize that I can get better at maintaining commitments, particularly with my team, which is difficult when clients pay the bills here, you know? So I get it. But the thing is, I think we have to really think as a society, how are we showing up and how are we following through on the commitments that we make? And for those of you that are people pleasers and overextend yourself, Think about the reputation you're creating for yourself when in doing that when you're canceling commitments on the other end because you're too overextended, all right? So that's my question for you this week is something to think about. What do you need to say no to so that you may, can maintain and keep the commitments that you've made, all right? Enough of the lecture. I'll get off my soapbox. Thanks for tuning in and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week when we have another Leadership Truth coming your way. If you've got one for me, send it my way. Follow our social channels to stay tuned and up to date on all things Roundtable. Thanks everybody.